Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Shade Zen and a brand new video today. So we're going to talk about manager of the month, Thomas Tuchel's unbeaten, tricky Chelsea Blues taking on at home West Bromwich Albion. And it's going to be a tough match. We're going to talk about why I think it's in a tough match and why it could be tough for us to get three points to watch till the end. Here we go. Yes, guys. So, as I said, first and foremost, before I start anything, congratulations to Mr. Thomas Tuchel. Has been amazing, amazing. I mean, there was a lot of division. I mean, the Chelsea fans were divided, you know, late December, early January. And we really don't know where we were going. You know, we had a very decent start under Frank this season. And it everything fell apart. And so, right now, when you look at two months back, it feels so enriching. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to do. But to see somebody coming in with a lot of experience... And getting the best out of the players who sort of were, you know, misfits in the team. You know, it feels great. The team is unbeaten. We are playing decent football. I'm not going to say we are playing brilliant football. But we are getting the job done. Our defense is rock solid. Maybe one of the best defense out there in Europe. And so it feels great. It feels great that Thomas Tuchel is also the manager of the month. Really feel that he deserves that. Fully, fully deserves it. And this is going to be a tough match for him as well when we take on West Brom a champion. Now, at the beginning, as I stated, that it's not going to be easy for us to take on West Brom a champion, especially when we have our next matches in the Champions League in Porto, which is about four days from today, four or five days. As we have seen in the last one month, when we took on Atletico in the previous round in the Champions League, the matches, the Premier League matches before those matches, we tend to you know, we tend to choke. We tend to not get the three points. When we t took on Southampton, when we took on Leeds United, both were, just like today's match against West Brom, were winnable matches. However, Southampton and Leeds both are not having the best of time in the last couple of months. And most other teams are beating them, but we were not able to beat them. It looks like our team's focus, the players' focus was not up to the mark. So it's going to be kind of a tough match today, and especially if West Brom shows up, we need to really work hard to get those three points. Hopefully, the job will be done. But at home, it could be tough because one eye of ours will be at that Champions League match against Porto at Sevilla four days from now. So, the players need to be really focused today to get the three points. Three points are really needed. We cannot miss fire in the Premier League just because we are playing Champions League football because... We need those three points. We need points so that we make sure the top four is ours at least. Because in case we get knocked out in the Champions League, I'm hoping not from Porto, but maybe in the future rounds, we make sure that we are playing Champions League for next season. But hopefully today we'll get those three points and not choke like we did against Southampton or Leeds United. So let's talk about today's match and how our manager of the month, Thomas Tuchel, is going to set his team up now, first and foremost, the goalkeeper. Now, I had a tweet yesterday about Kepa. And you can uh, check that. You can check my um, Twitter. If you want to, you can follow me. But either way, um, I talked about Kepa being one of those players who were misfits, who really, according to me, was scrapegoated. And I really want to see him more playing for Chelsea. Uh, obviously, professionally, is not going to be possible, I guess. But I did get to see Mendy playing some matches and Kepa playing some matches. Because Kepa is a very decent goalkeeper under Sari. And under Lamps, something happened. I guess Lamps' um, Lamps' uh, inexperience was the result. Many of these players were underperforming and Kepa being one of them. I think Kepa is a very decent goalkeeper. And if he gets a chance, now that Chelsea has fixed, now that Tuchel has fixed the Chelsea defence, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a wonderful goalkeeper, just like how Mendy is. I mean... So I expect better things. Hope Kepa plays in the recent times in a couple of matches for him, couple of matches for Mendy. Hopefully, I know it's unlikely, but I'm, you know, working. <laughs> Rest my case for Kepa. I hope he gets some chances. But let's get into the team news today. Mendy at goal. Uh, Thiago Silva is back. So it's a great news to see Thiago Silva back. I think Thiago Silva, Rudiger and Aspilis whether the captain, will be the three defence. We see Benny Chilwell most likely starting with Reese James. Ben Chilwell had a decent out, outlook or outcome uh, with England in the midweek. So you're going to see those two guys. Kante is sadly out. 
I really wanted him to play. He has been wonderful. But we'll see Jorginho and Kovacic playing today. We have to, I guess they will have too many matches playing for these two guys. Um, hopefully someday we'll see Billy Gilmore playing. I mean, he's been wonderful. He can play an odd match here and there. And he's that good a player. He can do that. But don't think he's going to happen. But see, Mason Mount starting this match. Um, you really want to see Mason Mount playing. He has elite mentality. He's amazing. He doesn't buckle down under pressure. He's always trying to out, out for a form, whether it's for Chelsea, whether it's for England. Really want to see that guy. He's really impressed. He's really impressed. And um, Werner starting this match. Now, the one position that's remaining, I talked about 10 positions. One position is either Hakim Zahedge or um, Tim, uh, Kai Havertz is going to start. So, for me, I believe that uh, Hakim Zahedge might get the chance. He has been decent in the last couple of matches for Chelsea. I think um, Kai Havertz can come in as a sub, as and when required. I believe he should start the match against Porto. But Kai has been, uh, Kai will be very important to this match. There is a lot of rumours that uh, Hakim might leave Chelsea in the summer. He doesn't fall into the plans of Tuchel. It will be very sad if that happens, but I really want to see him play a little more, maybe even 70 minutes and get a goal or an assist. I, he's very good. He's very good quality. He's superb quality. And if he plays more, he's going to get back. But it's between these two guys, one of them will be playing because, frankly speaking, I mean, there's not much position left for him. I mean, it will get Hudson Odoi. I think Hudson Odoi is uh, not fit for this match, but you never know. And Pulisic, such a wonderful player Chelsea has, and he doesn't get into the team. That just shows how good quality we have. And he also, one player, could look a little unsettled, but hopefully he'll get more match time. He will come in as a sub. I think if Hudson Odoi is fit, he can come in as a sub, and Pulisic can come in as a sub and work better. And we need these guys fresh in his Porto. So I really wanted Kante to play and be fit, but it's not going to happen. But really feel that Chelsea needs to take this onus upon ourselves and win this match. Because, again, I guess just like Southampton and Leeds, if we don't really focus on this match, we can drop points. And we cannot afford to drop points at this moment against the likes of West Brom, against the likes of Southampton, against the likes of Leeds United. So I leave it at that, hoping for three points. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what do you guys think about Thomas Tuchel as the manager of the month. It's amazing, amazing. Congratulations to him once again. What do you guys think should be the scoreline today? What do you guys think about the lineup today? And Porto, four days from today, quarterfinals, Champions League. So we're going to talk and make a different video for that as well. So I'll leave it at that, hoping for a Chelsea win. See you guys. Bye-bye.